MVP, MVP, MVP. So, yo, guys, I, I, like, woke up this morning. I still can't believe what happened last night. Like, I, I still can't fathom the fact that my boy LeBron finally brought one to the land. And if you know me, you know I'm the biggest LeBron fan in the world. Everyone says that, right? Everyone goes, yeah, I'm the biggest LeBron fan. I'm the biggest Steph Curry fan. I'm the biggest Dwayne Wade fan. But no, no, you don't understand, bro. He's not, like, he's not even like my father. He's, like... He's like my life, like he's he's like my legacy, like like you don't even understand. I can't put it into words. Now, nah, but let me slow down. So what really happened is, first jersey I ever bought in my life was a Jason Kidd jersey, cause Jason Kidd's my favorite basketball player ever, all time, right? He's the one that made me start playing basketball. He's the one that made me start loving the game. And then right then and there, the first player coming up that I started to love that wasn't on my Nets because I used to just love the Nets. Obviously, everyone everyone idolized Allen Iverson because everyone wanted to be like AI, at least in my time because I wasn't around back in MJ's time. I grew up watching AI, but I, I cherished Jason Kidd, right? So then this one kid, right, he's in high school, right? He's playing ball, and he's the chosen one. So we start watching him in high school, and I was still in like fifth grade back then, right? And I'm watching this dude. He's doing everything, man. He was unstoppable. He was a skinny little boy from Akron, Ohio. And I bought his jersey before he played a game in the NBA. I still have that jersey. It's hanging. It used to be hanging up in my room, back in my old room. But I have it still. And I'll keep it. It's mad small because I was a little kid. But before he played a single game for the Cavaliers, when he was drafted, I bought his jersey. So that was the second jersey I ever bought. And now I think I own about four of his jerseys. I bought his Heat jersey. And that's one thing I want to point out. I'm not a Cavaliers fan. I'm not. Yo, Cleveland, I love y'all. Y'all y'all deserve this. You really do. That drought was way too long. But I'm a LeBron fan. I used to say it all the time. I've been through so much with this guy, honestly. Like, the hate that I've received, I feel like I am LeBron. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's that, like when you're a fan of LeBron James... You take bullets for him. You take anything for him. Anything. I will die for my man. Yeah. Yes, homo, man. Yes, homo. I'll die for him, bro. Die for him. That's my man. LeBron James. King of the jungle, baby. King of the jungle. Let me just say great season to the Golden State Warriors. Maybe the bandwagon died. Who knows, man? Who knows? The bandwagon was lit. Just so you guys know, let me just put in perspective what a LeBron James fan means. Because I've been trying to explain this to people for years. If LeBron James goes to play for the Lakers, I am officially a Laker fan. Am I rooting? Have I always been a Laker fan? No. I'm a LeBron James fan. LeBron's on the Lakers. Now I cheer for the Lakers. That's just how it works. LeBron leaves the Lakers. He goes to the Clippers. I'm a Clippers fan. He goes to Boston. I'm a Boston fan. If he stops playing basketball... Goes and plays cricket back in Bangladesh or anywhere in the world, man. I am officially a cricket fan. That's what it means. That's what LeBron James means to me and to every Cleveland, to every LeBron fan. Because we just said we ain't Cleveland fans, right? There are Cleveland fans, people that live in Ohio. I respect y'all. Y'all deserve this. And... You know, let me just say, he has stamped his legacy as one of the greatest players of all time. No ifs, ands, or buts. Top three, hands down, from right now, if he retires. I don't care that he's three or four in the finals. That don't matter. The fact that he's made it to all those finals just speaks of his greatness. Let me just say that he left the Cleveland Cavaliers to go to Miami, right? As soon as he left, they were the number one team in the East. And became a lottery team, the worst in the NBA the year after. And guess what? Miami made it to four straight finals, right? Right? Am I right? Yeah. Now what? He leaves Miami, goes to Cleveland. They become the best in the East, make the finals two years in a row. And as soon as he left Miami, they didn't even make the playoffs that first year. That's how you know he is the most valuable player in the NBA. Where's your unanimous Steph Curry at? That's my question. Yo, I don't even care if you guys dislike this video. Honestly, I'm just I'm just speaking what I, what I feel, you know? LeBron, I idolize you. And I think you gained a lot of respect this year because you really did a lot. Yo, the fact that you guys were down 3-1, I still believe. I said you guys would win it in 7.
I mean, at first I said in six, but when you lost game four, I was like, all right, we got this. We got this, and I still believe, and I'm still here, and I'm going to the parade. Whoever wants to come with me to the parade, I live in New York, but I don't care. I'm going out to Cleveland. We out here. This is the most meaningful by far, by far the most meaningful championship of my lifetime. I know LeBron, like, yo, you just see all those players after the game crying, and you just understand that that just means so much. Like, I was crying, man. I couldn't believe it. I still can't believe it. I can't fathom the fact that they just finally won. The drought is over in Cleveland. And, ah, it feels so good, man. It feels so good. Let me tell you that. It feels good. Yeah, with that said, um, I don't think LeBron is done. I mean, obviously, look, well, obviously he's not going to retire. But, like, like, I'm just saying, if he retired this year, he'd still make the Hall of Fame, obviously. He still has all these records he broke. But the fact that he's still 31, turning 32, and he has still, like, he's still in his prime. Y'all don't realize that. He's still in his prime. My son dropped 40 back to back and then had a triple-double in game seven. And you don't call him the GOAT? Like, he's not the greatest player right now playing the game? That's crazy. You guys are crazy. I don't know what you guys be watching. But, like, let me just say, this is not the last championship he's going to win. He'll make it next year. He'll make it the year after. He'll make it every year he's in the East because nobody could stop LeBron James. He's a different animal. I feel bad that he has to play 82 games in the season. Just fast forward. Let his team get a bye straight to the playoffs, man. It's not fair to him that you got to keep wearing his body out like that. It's not fair to him. We all know he's going to be the top dog. He's always going to make the playoffs. We know he's always going to make the finals. Whether he wins, that's up to his supporting cast. Kyrie stepped up. Shout out to you, Kyrie. Kevin Love, you've been getting a lot of hate, man, but I respect you. You be doing your thing. Yo, Richard Jefferson, man. Little Kev, Richard Jefferson, you the man. You were one of my favorite players back in back in back in back in New Jersey, baby. All these kids out here don't even know about the New Jersey Nets. But yo, Richard Jefferson used to be one of the best small forwards in the game, man. You used to be a slasher, high flyer. Running the floor with Jay Kidd and all. Oh, it was a beauty to watch. Uh, uh, yo, thank you for a great career. Yeah, Richard Jefferson, we're going to miss you. The NBA is going to miss you. I wish you had another run in you. But, yo, you, you retired at the top of the mountaintop, man. You retire at the top. That's how it's done. I'm going to miss your snaps. Hopefully, I'll still see you around. You got, you're definitely going to get a job somewhere in the NBA. I know. Come back to Cleveland, man. Stay with your boy LeBron, man. I want to see some little Kev. I want to see some little Kev. Justin Thompson, shout out to you. Delhi. Yo, everyone that played a role, man, Mozgov, thanks for taking the back seat. Shout out to Dante Jones for everything, man. Just shout out to the team. J.R. Smith, you the real MVP. Shout out to the two Knicks, J.R. and Shumper, man. Y'all did y'all thing. Y'all won a championship before Melo. That's what's up. That's what's up. And with that said, I'm going to shut up now because I'm sweating, man. I still can't believe it. Oh, my God. My boy LeBron finally won a championship. All y'all haters that texted me when it was 3-1 and told me to go home. You had no chance. This was for you. This is one for you, baby. LeBron James is in the building, baby. LeBron James is in the building. LeBron James is in the building. You never write off a king, baby. Never write off a king.